This tutorial will show you the basics of using Delicious. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details. There are more tools of Delicious, but since this is a starter course, I want to teach you what you need to know. And if you're interested in other things in Delicious, there are plenty of help guides and resources on this website. The basic thing is your links. Delicious is a website. It is called a social bookmarking website and you watch the video on social bookmarking already. So you understand the concept of tagging. Delicious is a great website because it allows you to save all your favorites and bookmarks in one place, web-based. So you don't have to be at the specific computer where you saved your favorite in order to access it. It is saved to your Delicious site. Now if you're using Chrome and you did install the extension like I showed you in the How to Sign Up for Delicious video, your extension will appear up here. It is the little delicious icon and I'll show you what it does. So just say you are on some website that you found. I'm just going to say here's my YouTube website. If you're on a website that you want to bookmark to Delicious and you have the extension, you simply click on it and notice it said add to Delicious. The great thing about this tool is it fills in the information for you. It says the URL, it gives the title, and you can change this to whatever you want. So I could say this is the delicious directions for sign up on YouTube. Okay. You don't want to change the URL. That is the web address that you want to get to. Now, there are some suggested tags. Now, the tags are the important piece that let you organize. Think of them as categories. So when you're categorizing a website, you want to add as many tags as you can because you're going to save a lot of websites. And eventually, just say two years down the line, you're looking for this website. If you only tagged it YouTube and you have 50 YouTubes, how are you going to know what this is? So I'm going to tag this YouTube. And it is coming up with tags that I've already created. So if you create a tag, as you type it in, it will appear. So I'm going to type in video, and there's you, the video tags that I've used. And I'm going to type in delicious. And that's all I'm going to do. Now this is an important thing. Your link is public, which means other people can see your links. If you do not want someone else to see your link and you don't want to share with people, you can simply click here and make it private. But if you don't care and you are into sharing with your students, other teachers, then you want to keep it public. If you are a Twitter person, you can click here and share the link with Twitter. If you want to share it via Facebook, you can click here and via Facebook. Then all you have to do is click Save Link. Now, if you are not using Chrome <clears throat> and you're not using a bookmarklet, which I will show you, you can basically add a link by just clicking Add Link. Now, you need to have the web address or the URL for the link. So, just say I was teaching, wanted to teach kids about social bookmarking and I wanted to save this Wikipedia definition of social bookmarking. All I would have to do is come up to the web address and highlight the whole web address. Then I could copy it by either right clicking and doing copy or control, I mean command on a Mac and click for copy or edit and copy. Then I can go back to my delicious tab and I'm going to paste. So I can control V, command V, paste. Then I can click on add link. Then I will get something similar. It gives the title. It takes it directly from the website. If I wanted to change it for some reason, I could. And here's the tags we're talking about. These are the categories. This is how it's going to help you find things. So I could do social bookmarking. I could do Wikipedia because that's where I got it from. Maybe this is for some class. Maybe it's for from my seventh grade class. 
I made myself a new tag. I could add a comment. If you save a lot of websites, like just say you save a whole bunch of websites on fractions and you want to make sure you know that this is the one that has the really fun game, you could add a comment right down here. So those are also things that help you remember. Then you have the same thing, public, make it public if you're going to share it, Twitter and Facebook, and I click save link. So there's another way to save a link. One more way to save a link, which is also a shortcut that you can use if you do not have Chrome. If you go to add link and you see bookmarklet, bookmarklet is a little shortcut. Now if I click on bookmarklet, it's going to take me to this page and see it looks, says add to delicious. And it even says right up at the top, drag to bookmarks bar. So you have to have your bookmarks bar showing and you simply drag it up and it will appear on your bookmarks bar. Now I have a whole bunch of things so I have to click on the arrow and see on the list. And so if I find a website that I want to add, like for example, let's just go back to this PBS website. If I go over here and your bookmark will appear on your bookmarks bar or you can click on the arrow and find it, add to delicious, I get the same kind of interface. So the keys are having the URL, so you either copied and pasted it or it's there because you're on the site, the title, tags for organization, so I could do education, PBS, interactive, videos, math, you can have as many as you want. And comments, if you want. Once again, public, and save the link. So those are the ways you can save links to Delicious. There are many other things you can learn about Delicious, and once you get used to it and you like it, I suggest investigating networks, which is a place where you can join networks and network with other people and share different lists that you have of websites, which is great. Discover is another section that allows you to discover different communities and have things be sent to you. Trending is in beta. It shows you what's trending. So if you're interested in what's trending on Delicious, you can look at that. One thing I want to show you on my links why I was talking about tagging. When you have links, the tags show underneath, and here is also where the comments show. So you've got the whatever you named it, you've got the different tags that you put in, and you've got if you put in any kind of comment. Now if you want to find all your tags that had to do with math, you simply click on math, filter by math, and these are all the things that I've tagged on math over the years. There's a lot. So now you can see why tagging is important. I could filter even more by maybe say, okay, geometry. So now I have less things, tags, than I already had before. So tags are an important way of filtering. You can click on new class, for example, and I can filter by the new class and it will show me all those websites that I have taken and tagged new class. So that's why tagging is important. If you can't remember a website that you found, but you can remember maybe what you tagged it with, it helps. So those are the basics of Delicious. If you're looking for help, in the lower left corner is help, and it takes you to frequently ask questions. There's information where you can go and look at about tools, useful tools, another place where you can get the Add to Delicious. There's lots to explore, but for the basics, know how to save and know how to tag.